This is the integrated math one practice test for TN ready or TCAP, I guess. Um, subpart two, which means calculators are allowed, and I'll also be dealing with question 15 here. So the question says the first term in a sequence is eight. Consecutive terms in the sequence have a common difference. This is an important uh, issue here. Common difference means that if I take one term that's further along in the sequence and subtract the one before it, each time that amount should be the same. Common, and the difference comes from it's a change. It'll actually tell you how much the thing increases or decreases each time. Now, um, the issue here for me is that that means that any of my answer choices that show multiplication times the number of the term, so it uses f of n or f of 1 and or f of n and f of n plus 1, which this would be the function at one point and the function at the point after it. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will say I can find, if I have the value of the point at 2, I can subtract 3 if that's the answer, uh, and it'll give me the next term, the point at 3. So 2 plus 1 gives you 3. That's how that works. Anyway, the, th the idea that it's a common difference means that I'm adding the same amount over and over again or adding a negative or whatever you want to say. What it doesn't mean is that it's not, what it, it can't possibly mean is that it's a multiply because that would be a geometric relationship and you'd have a common ratio. So the f of one values are all awash because they're the same. This one says multiply by nine fourths. What? That's not adding three every time. It would change based on the value so that's how so is this. So we're really only dealing with a and b for this question. So the first term in the sequence is 8. The fourth term is 17. Now it's pretty easy to actually find it. You'll notice that the difference between here, 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 and here would be 1, 2, 3 spots. So if I do 17 minus 8, I end up with 9 there. That means there are 9 uh, points to be spread out evenly about these three spots. So I'll just do 9 divided by 3 and it gives me 3. That's my common difference. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. So it's easy to find the common difference if you're given just a little bit of information. So that's important for me. And you'll notice that I've highlighted this, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. If the first term in the sequence is 8 and the fourth term is 17, you can't be going down. It has to be going up. So the idea that you would take this term and subtract 3 doesn't really make any sense. The only way that could possibly be true is if you're defining your um, statement by going the opposite way, and that's not really how we do it. So if I have a the value of a function, so the value of a function is 8, and I add 3 to it, it will give you the value of the function in the next spot. So 8 plus 3 does give me 11. My answer here is B because I'm increasing each time. It's the focus of this is starting at one point and going to the next point as opposed to going backwards. So B is the correct answer for 15.